So you say in the discussion, discussion that you are, you are born Christian. Yes, I was born Christian. Yeah. And now you are no more Christian. You are Rasta. I am Rastafara. But the thing, the reality is actually what you call Christianity for I and I is pseudo Christianity, because if you deal with the reality of the Bible. You have to come to the conclusion of Rastafari because Rastafari is the return of Yeshua Hamashiach, who they call Jesus Christ. His rhythm is Yeshua Hamashiach. Hamashiach means the Messiah, yeah, the, the, the anointed. So, the new name that you hear people talking about, new name, that is new name of Yeshua Christ. So, we are dealing with Christianity. For both people, we are, we are coming with the new name of Christ not the old name so we are actually the real christian in the next dispensation of it you know so you told us that uh, in the beginning when you come to australia you was not rasta tell us uh, once again how you, you you move from reggae uh, brought you to rasta yes reggae brought me i listened to the reggae and then taking serious the word they said and researching it did everything just getting the information to learn the scripture with the, from the perspective of Rastafari as fulfillment because all I have been doing before, they teach people to die to see the fulfillment of prophecy. But the Bible says that the fulfillment of prophecy and the word of God is not for those who go to the grave. It's not for those who go to the, to the silence. So they teach our people now for them to see the thing that is written in the open bar on the revelation that they have to die. But that is not biblical. So now, seeing what Rastafari is saying, after taking this, the word serious now, seeing the way the, the history fulfilled those prophecy. How, how role plays the Bible in your... Yes, Bible is the key. It is the key for me to come to Rastafari. Because when a friend, when a listening an artist was singing and boasting with the, with the Reve, with Genesis, the beginning of the Bible to the Revelation. So now when I started reading this, the more I was reading it, the more I understand Rastafari. And I had question now to the established religions. And I had to even confront priests and pastors and they had to run away from the truth then I realized that they are not living up to the same Bible they have in their hand. Because when I, when I questioned them, showing them chapters, uh, what they, I realized that some of them don't want to talk about it. Some of them, they start to shiver when they see it. Because to face Rastafari, they call it rebel, you know. You have to really rebel against everything, you know, that is not right. Everything. And so if those priests that are confronted, if they were, if their mind was made up, they were supposed to rebel against the denomination that they are under or against their established church just to satisfy his conscience in line with the Bible that shows the fulfillment of Rastafari prophecy. What is Haile Selassie for you? Haile Selassie is the king of kings as prophesied in the book. He's the light of the world. That is official title of him. He's from the line of tribe of Judah. So according to what the Bible says and what he lived, this is Yeshua return. Yeshua is Jesus return. And as the Psalm 87 verse 4 says that with the Ethiopia this man was born, he fulfilled it. And that Psalm says is the Almighty. And talking about reggae music that you see there, in the same Psalm at the end of it, he said that musicians, singers and dancers say that all my springs are in thee. So that we are having this music to speak Rastafari is also recorded in the Bible. Not only the same Psalm 84 that reveals Ali Selassie in, in, in Revelation as well, in the book of Isaiah, in the book of Psalms, everywhere it is written that they come with music. What is Rastafari? Rastafari, the word Ras, is like a duke, is a prince, you know, is a title. Then Tafari is one who is to be feared, one who is to be revered. Actually, in what other word you can even say is God, it means God, because the only one you can have reverence for is God. 
and that is the meaning of that name. And he was also called Lij Tafari, which is a child. And that title, child of his name, is revealed in the revelation as man child that was born. So now, and the name Aili Selassie, meaning the power of Holy Trinity, that is also what it means. Aili is for is the power, the might. Like you say, El for Elohim, that is the same root because uh, Amharic is a Afro-Semitic language, just like Hebrew is Afro-Semitic language. So in Hebrew you have the L like for Elohim and all this. So they have the same uh, source, meaning actually the power, the source of the Holy Trinity. So Telas means Trinity, and the the Ali is the power. You know. What is Rastafari? A movement or a religion? It is a religion. If because Rasta say word, sound, and power. That means every word you say, you must analyze it to the depth, know where it began. And because they say a word speaks thousand words, you know. So when you understand this word, the word is the sound, and that sound is the power, the might, the God within you. Because Bible tells you that the word is God. So now, saying that, knowing the meaning of religion, that it is bond. That now you're connecting yourself to the history and understanding yourself. You know what I mean? So, bond, because when people say religion, they are talking about religion, they're talking about the established religion. But the meaning of that word, Rasta leave it, because Rasta is connecting the memory, what you have for preservation of your future. So that is the bond you have. You don't cut off your bond because now you have a bond with your mother. You have a bond with your because without them it wouldn't be. So you recognizing and appreciating these things, having respect and honoring it, this bond you have with your parents, which will in turn also be a blessing for your children. So you having it is religion in itself, is religion. That is the bond. So we are talking about the meaning of the word, it is religion. Talking about the, the, the movement, it is a movement. Talking about the, the uh, way of life, it is way of life. It is everything. But in the, real, in the real way, not in the way they used to deceive people, living up to it and as it supports life and brings light to the people. Thank you very much.